By default, if you don't do anything and you are running OSPF in a frame relay or ATM environment, this is what you're going to see. There is no predicting who is going to be the designated router or DR for short. But first a word from our sponsor, Networking Step by Step. Networking Step by Step offers videos called video cheat sheets, configuration guides, copy and paste ready configuration examples, blogs, surveys, video blogs, and the list goes on and on. All designed to help you get down to the meat of the subject quickly. So the next time your manager asks if you know a particular technology, you can say yes and still have a life. So in this picture there are four routers, but you don't know which is going to be the DR. So let's say you leave it with the default settings. So B and D declared that A is the DR, but if you look at A, A is saying, okay, I'm not the DR, C is the DR. So there's a problem here. Anyone know why A is saying C is the DR? Anybody want to take a guess? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. When you run the DR election algorithm, basically you elect the highest router ID between the two. So whoever has the highest router ID will become the DR. So in this case, A has the higher router ID compared to B and D. But C has a higher router ID than A. So if you leave everything as default, which is the case in this example, then C will be the DR. The question is, why did B and D not say that C is the DR? The answer is B and D cannot see router C. So basically B, C, and D do not have connectivity to each other. In reality, C is the highest router with the highest router ID. But B and D cannot see it and this creates a problem. Now, how can you fix it? There are a couple of ways to accomplish this. The preferred method is to use the OSPF priority. Use OSPF priority and make sure these routers at the bottom don't become a DR. That will ensure that A will become the DR. So we saw the problem and we have tried to fix it and so far I can guarantee that router A will be the DR all the time if you follow this configuration example. Now does this fix the entire problem? Well that will need to wait for the next networking step-by-step -step video blog. Thanks for listening to this video blog with Dale. If you like what you just heard, we hope you will drop by our website, networkingstepbystep.com, and see the famous video cheat sheet for yourself. You should also play fair and share our web address with your friends and colleagues. Be sure to check out our archive section on our website for previous video blogs.